So today I'm in a 2017 BMW 330e. Wanted to go over some of the e-drive modes that are on this vehicle specifically. Um, if you have an X540e or a 740e or a 540e, which is up and coming, then these will also pertain to you as well. But uh, this is a 330e specifically, so the configuration might look a little bit different on your vehicle. Anyway, when you first start up the vehicle, it's obviously got an electric mode, so you may not feel the engine turn on, but an indicator that you can reference to see that the car is on is you'll notice the needle will go up to the ready position once you start the vehicle. So foot on the brake, press the start button, you'll notice the needle jumps up to ready and you know you're, you're good to go, you're ready to take off. Now, when you start the car, it will start in its hybrid auto e-drive mode, but you can switch that. So down by the shifter, there is an e-drive button here that you can press. And as you continuously press it, you'll cycle through different drive modes. Like I said, you'll start in auto e-drive, but if you press it again, you can go to max e-drive, save battery, or just cycle through them again. Auto e-drive, it will use a combination of either gas or electric for what it thinks will be most efficient for you. Max e-drive, this one here, will do all electric. So if you want to just use the electric motor, you can. And then save battery. This one will save your electric charge for a later point in your trip until you change it back to either auto e-drive or max e-drive. So if you were doing some freeway driving, for example, and say you wanted to save the electric for a later time where you're gonna be driving around the city, you could do that. On the instrument cluster, just to the right of the P, you can, you'll notice as you change the different drive modes, you'll get an indicator to let you know the drive mode that you are currently in. So auto e-drive specifically has no indication. So if you notice there's nothing to the right of the P, it's gonna be auto e-drive. Max e-drive, as you can see, and then save battery would come up with save with the battery icon in replacement of the word battery. But yeah, that's how you can tell what mode you're in. If you are in max e-drive something to note is if you run out of electric range it will kick on the gas for you automatically so you don't have to switch modes if you run out of all electric range the charge and power meter is uh, right below the P on that cluster position there the charge and power will the gauge will fluctuate either to the left or the right if you're coasting or braking or if you're stepping on the accelerator that indicator is, they tried to make it almost like a game to encourage more efficient driving. So if you can get the needle to move over to the left, you're gonna notice that you're able to charge up your battery and also be more efficient in your driving habits. So if you wanted to recharge your battery while driving, you can actually do that. If you are in the save battery mode and you're trying to charge up the battery, if your battery charge is less than 50% and you go to save battery and then start coasting and braking to try to charge the battery, you can get it up to 80%. If your battery charge is 50% or more currently and you go to save battery, it will hold your current state of charge. So it won't charge anything additional on top of what you already have going. But yeah, that's the charge and uh, power gauge there. Right below the temperature on the board computer there, you can see the overall range that we have on electric. So right now it's stating three miles. Obviously, if you had a full charge, it'd be much more than that. Probably the max that you'll get out of a full charge on all electric would be 14 miles. Obviously, there are some variables that would affect your range, but uh, average, I'd say about 14 would be a, a max charged battery. On that instrument cluster, um, where the three miles is, you can cycle through different information. So if you bring it up, uh, bring up your car and, or turn on your car and that doesn't come up initially, you can cycle through different information by pressing the outside of the turn signal, which has the uh, BC button on the stock. We do have a separate video for that. If you're, so if you're unfamiliar, uh, we recommend watching that video. It'll give you more clarity on that button and how it works. But yeah, um, that's, some of the plug-in hybrid features on this car, the 330E. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We'd be happy to help out.